The topic of this video is how to add and edit scale bars in Zen software. Over the next few minutes, I'll go over and show you exactly how to do that. And at the end, you'll feel confident how to add and edit scale bars on your software. So after you take a picture in Zen, if you want to add a scale bar in this top menu bar, you'll notice the graphics menu. Simply click on the graphics menu. And as you scroll down, you'll see the fourth option is scale bar. Clicking on this will place a scale bar in the bottom right corner of your image. If you would like to move the location of this, simply hover the mouse over the scale bar and click and drag, and you can place this to the desired position on your image. If you hover your mouse on either the left or the right square icon on the scale bar, if you click and hold, you can actually resize the scale bar by dragging. If you rotate your mouse in a clockwise or a counterclockwise fashion, you may resize this um, as well as change the orientation to vertical or horizontal. After you find the desired location of the scale bar, if you would like to change the color and the format, simply right click the graphic and choose Format Graphical Elements. A window will appear that allows you to change the line color, text, and fill options. Starting from the top, which you can see here, this bar corresponds to the color of the line. So what we can do here is change the color of the bar itself. This allows you to change the weight of the line. So what we can do is we can change this to a, a larger weight. Options under here actually allow you to change the, the style of the bar as well as the end caps. So you have the option to have a flat bar, small, large bar, or open and closed arrows. Following the, the path from the top to bottom, here are your text options. This allows you to change the font type as well as the color of the font. Again, if we just click on the color, you see here are your own colors. If you would like a custom color, you may certainly click on this and create your own custom color. This allows you to change the size of the font. So again, we'll just make this quite large for everyone to see. So size 60. And then we have the alignment. So you can actually choose how you would like this text to be aligned over the scale bar. Finally, you have the fill option. So if you click this drop down menu here, there's different styles and different fills that you can apply. If you would like a white background, you may click on the second option. If you want to change the background to a different color, you may also choose to do that by clicking again on this bar that allows it to change the color. If you would like this to be the new global default for every snapped image, simply click set as new global default. And then each time you add a new scale bar, it will always appear with these changes you have made. So I'm just going to delete this scale bar. Again, showing you to add a scale bar, simply go to graphics, choose scale bar, it will appear here. And that concludes our video for today.